Hello and welcome to a quick keyboard showcase of the Philco Magistouch 2 keyboard, which I have for you right here. And what I'm going to do today is just kind of show off the polling rate and chord splitting of this on PS2 over dongle, which is uh, connected right now, and then also over USB. So the first thing I'm going to do is just uh, check out this program on the left, which just shows us the exact millisecond uh, timing between each key hit. Uh, we've compared this program with Eterna Replay Data, and it seems to uh, be pretty much spot on, so it'll be good for uh, showing this off. I'm just going to kind of start hitting keys a little bit sporadically here and see if I can find any patterns. Uh, let's see here, 25, 26, uh, let's see, 23, so already pretty good. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? 22, 23, 20. Yeah, okay, so we've got a lot of hits that are between 1 and 2 milliseconds showing up here, which is indicative of a keyboard with a high polling rate controller, which is generally 1,000 hertz. And as far as chord splitting goes, I'm going to try and hit all these keys at approximately the same time and see if any sorts of pattern forms. And as you can see, we do have quite a number of hits around the two and a half to three millisecond mark. And uh, yeah, that's that's pretty consistent. We've, we've definitely got a uh, bit of chord splitting going on here. Uh, bit, a bit on the more significant side uh, on average here. So uh, about, about a thousand hertz controller and also uh, some pretty hefty chord splitting. I'm going to bring this into USB and see what changes. All right, I'm back over USB, and we are going to check out the uh, changes to the polling rate here. We just gotta hit hit some keys a little bit sporadically and see what we've got. Uh, yeah, okay, uh, closer to 40, 32, 24, uh, high 23, and, and so I'm seeing a lot of multiples, approximate multiples. Um, bear in mind that you're not going to see uh, exact multiples of eight when you have uh, a lower polling rate keyboard it is going to be uh, there's going to be some variance here but as you can see it's it's very much uh, unable to hit without uh, like far outside of that like seven and a half eight millisecond window so um, that is indicative of a low polling rate keyboard of 125 hertz so uh, the next test is chord splitting and if I try and hit all the keys at approximately the same time, you will see, well, that, that, that one actually hit into the next polling cycle, but you'll see a lot of zeros, which implies that this keyboard is not chord splitting at the moment. And despite the large chord splitting that was happening with PS2, it's just simply too small of a, an amount to um, register on uh, such a low polling rate. So it just all transfers to the next polling cycle. So in this case, uh, over USB, likely 125 hertz and no chord splitting. And then over PS2, uh, we have uh, likely 1,000 hertz and some chord splitting from 2.5 to 3 milliseconds. I hope this was useful to you, and uh, take care.